guys! Uh, Today I'm here with Charlotte! Uh, yay! yay. <laughs> Everyone always talks about how awesome it is living in Japan, and it is really awesome, but today we thought we would talk about some of the things that are harder yeah. for us living in Japan, yeah. especially maybe as foreigners coming from other countries. Yeah. The number one thing that I think is difficult, and this is always going to depend on the person, but mm -hmm. for me, it's being so far away from my family. Yeah. I yeah. miss my family a lot, and that's not something I actually was worried about the first time I came mm. to Japan. I was a lot younger then, and I was like, I was so ready to move away from my family. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to start a new adventure somewhere else. Yeah. Like, but then now that I've been away from my family for like five or something years already, I yeah, start to miss them like more. On you. Yeah, yeah, and I realize that, you know, we're all human and they're not going to be here for forever. Mm -hmm. And now sometimes I think like, well, what if they get sick while I'm gone? Exactly. Will I be able to get there in time? Yeah, like, I'm always thinking about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing my family's lives right now. Mm -hmm. like, I feel like we're missing so <laughs> many important things. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's so hard right. living abroad because like, of course, there's benefits to living here. That's mm -hmm. why we're here. Mm -hmm. But like you start to think about all the things you're missing back home. Right. And now yeah. that I'm in an international marriage too, yeah. no matter where we live, one of us is always going to be away from yeah. our family. So um, it's kind of difficult. So difficult. Yeah. Okay. One other thing that is not hard for me personally, because I absolutely love walking and I <laughs> really enjoy it, is walking everywhere. <laughs> you need to walk everywhere and a lot <laughs> when right. you come to Japan. If you might live in like a city where you walk a lot right now, mm -hmm. I mean, if you're from New York or something, then that's probably normal right, for you. Right, right. But I'm from cities where you drive and you don't walk a lot. Take and the bus or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy walking, but you walk so much if you're in the cities yeah. here. And Japanese girls wear like high heels. I don't know how to do it. And it's how so do cute. you do it? <laughs> and I love high heels, but you, I can only walk for like half an hour in the really high heels. And like, yeah, maybe not even most, that. Yeah. Maybe 10 minutes for me. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're in a city, especially if you're traveling, you're walking like hours and hours a day. Yeah, not even exaggerating. Hours. Yeah. yeah. So if you're visiting, make sure you wear really comfortable shoes. Mm -hmm. And if you're living here, you have to get used to like carrying your groceries. Yeah, right. that's something that you don't really think about because mm -hmm. like back home you'd always like have a car or it would right. be like a bus system or something. Right. But in some areas there's no like bus that would be convenient for you to take home so you need to either mm -hmm. take the train or walk. Mm -hmm. And you never see people on the train carrying groceries so I would feel <laughs> so silly to take groceries on the train so I would probably walk even if it was super far. Yeah. So yeah. I, if you're in the city, living in the city, then your grocery store might be like a 15 minute walk or buy some right. right away and then you have to like get all of that back to your, your place right. without a car yeah so even though june and i have a car now uh, when i first moved here we didn't and so right. we had to ride the bicycle to the supermarket yeah. which was 20 minutes away <laughs> and if it's raining you have like your groceries right. in the rain go wet you need to think about that you're like oh what could i buy that it's okay if it gets soggy yeah like are these packages okay no cardboard boxes right. like there's so many different <laughs> things that you have to think about that you never really like considered or at least mm -hmm. i didn't right? You don't really like expect those things. The benefit to like this kind of thing is like with the walking, you, it's really healthy. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. You get so much exercise without even yeah. thinking about it. It just, yeah, you can eat mm -hmm. lots more food because you're burning so many <laughs> calories that you didn't used to burn. Yeah. You you're like, this so is much. why Japanese people are so skinny. Yeah. No, honestly, like if you think about it, like of course jeans is a part of it, but mm -hmm. they walk so much yeah. and walking yeah. is so great for you. So yeah. Yeah. It's a benefit, but your feet hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another thing that like comes to mind when we're talking about like weather and stuff you didn't really think about is laundry because they don't use dryers here. Yeah, um, they have them, but yeah. um, unless you get one that's separate, if it's like the combined mm -hmm. washer dryer, they don't actually they, dry they, very much. Yeah, they like, they remove the water. I guess it spins it really fast uh -huh. or something. I don't even know how they work, but they don't completely dry your clothes. You have to yeah. do it, run it like several times and mm -hmm. it's still not, might not be completely dry when you pull it out. Right. So most people hang their clothes yeah, out to dry. Yeah, hang them outside, which is yeah. awesome. Uh, I'll, I'm probably gonna do that even when I move back to Canada. I did it in America. It's better for your clothes. Yeah, exactly. So. Exactly. They don't shrink and yeah, yeah and it's cheaper. Right. It's free, the sun. But when it's raining, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> you gotta hang your clothes inside and you need to buy like one of those machines, dehumidifier mm -hmm. to remove the water from them. Um, if you get a nice apartment or like mm -hmm. a nicer house, then they might have um, 
like the system set up in the bathroom where it removes. Oh yeah, those are the, cool. My new house has yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> I so love you it. can hang your laundry in the bathroom. Yeah. A lot of new places have that set up. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're moving here the first time, you're probably living in a really cheap apartment and it yeah. might not have features like that. Right. Another thing that might be a little bit abstract and trying to explain is mm. Rules here are stricter than they are, I think, in North America in right. some cases. Right. And in a lot of cases, I really like that because I like how polite society is here. Mm -hmm. I like how everyone thinks about it's everyone organized else. It's organized. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Everything works really well the together. The trains are like always on time. Right. If they aren't, they'll announce it. It's very like, yeah, strict. And right. Like, everything's right. by the books, kind but of. But if you're from yeah. America where you're used or to Canada. being like more like, <laughs> go like happy go lucky yeah, and carefree, carefree and like loud or maybe like my family's really loud <laughs> in America then you have to like learn yeah, how to tone yourself down too. <laughs> and um like yeah. in the first place I sometimes felt like America was a little too open in some respects for me right. like I don't personally go around making fart jokes right but I mean that's a really common for a lot of people in mm -hmm. America and that's fine there mm -hmm. so I didn't always fit into like how loose some rules were there but I don't yeah. always fit into how strict some that's rules are true. here I feel so, like I'm the same yeah mm -hmm. I feel like I'm in the middle and if I'm in America sometimes people might think I'm too uptight and if I'm in Japan yeah. sometimes people might think I'm too loud or like, like yeah. yeah I think I prefer the Japanese side of things because I mm. I like being polite most of the time but then when I go home, <laughs> sometimes I just want to be our room. <laughs> but, but then I mean, when I go home, I just want to like I want to lay on my couch and just like slouch around, yeah. you know, like stick my feet up on the table. I don't care. It's not that big of a deal. But to like, me. if your but, in laws were over or something, no, you could I, not do I, that. I, I, that I wouldn't do that. that. No, no. <laughs> And um, yeah. some of it is probably the people you hang out with in Japan. So For some sure. people are more strict about rules mm -hmm. than other people mm -hmm. are. So like I have people that I would hang out with and I would be very proper and more polite with them. Whereas I have other people in Japan I would hang out with and they would just go crazy and Yeah, they'd totally be like, like similar to like, yeah, 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 yeah. I've got those <laughs> yeah. friends too. Many of them have like studied abroad and they yeah. kind of picked up those like mannerisms. Right. Yeah. So it depends on the people. Our gestures are more open and like yeah. our facial expressions yeah. are more extreme. You'll be able to so tell what people are thinking by those things. Right. But in Japan they don't do them. It's more subtle. Yeah. It's a lot more subtle and yeah. I I'm not yet to that level of subtlety. Sometimes I feel like if I confine myself to the Japanese like mm -hmm. norm, that it's gonna change my personality so much. So I find uh, that difficult. I think that's the hardest for me in business yeah. situations. When yeah. we're working with Japanese businesses, so for hard. example, for like YouTube videos, mm -hmm. um, the way we do our meetings is different than oh, the way so I would different. work with people in America. Yeah. Like in America, I would just joke with people. We would right. talk about current topics. Like right. we might even talk about like Game of Thrones or something. Yeah. And that's totally fine. Yeah. Whereas here, it's definitely more like business. Oh, yeah. And, like people make jokes and you can have fun, but it's not as. It's definitely scary. more like professional like, yeah. and. Yeah. And also like um, telling your ideas, like you wouldn't go into a meeting and tell them like, oh, I've got all these like cool ideas. We should do this. We should do this. Mm -hmm. You always like listen to the other side and you like <laughs> think carefully about how you answer and how you like want to express your opinion. It's really different, like the yeah. business side of things. We could talk about that for hours. Yeah. yeah. So it's not a bad thing at all. It's, it's just, just sometimes takes a lot more effort. And so sometimes yeah. at the end of the day, I feel more drained and oh, tired yeah, totally. because I put so much more effort in that day <laughs> yeah. to making sure I was being okay around everyone than yeah. I would have done in America. I agree. Oh yeah. Another thing uh, regarding like rules and be it being a little more strict here. I don't know if it's more strict. It's different is clothing. Mm -hmm. In Japan, it's very normal for girls to show their legs, yeah. lots of legs, sometimes yeah. some butt cheek, um, <laughs> but happens. upper body is very like covered most of the time. Mm -hmm. Shoulders, cleavage, um, this area is often mm -hmm. like, this is even like, like I feel like this is very low cut more for Japan than right you now. would see. Yeah, <laughs> like, like rate like wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, we should Bro, give this video okay. a rating. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so different. I feel like it's the opposite of North America. Right. Because for us we would it would feel kind of scandalous to have a really short skirt yeah, or like something, skirts. right? Yeah. Whereas we would wear spaghetti strap tank tops and like not cleavage worry is about normal. It. You wear cleavage to the yeah, office. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So that is kind of something to get used to. And it's difficult right. if that's the fashion that you're comfortable in. And yeah. then all of a sudden you kind of have to switch to being more covered up. 
Right. Um, or if you have bigger boobs, if you're coming yeah. from like country, it's harder to find clothes that do, don't like emphasize that. Yeah, it's harder to find clothes that are flattering for that when you're mm -hmm. used to wearing like the tank tops and you have to switch to wearing like t-shirts. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really hard to find flattering clothes, I find. Yeah. Yeah, for our body shapes. Our body shapes are different, so. Right. And when I first came to Japan, I mean, this is a whole different topic, like how I've changed since I first came yeah. to Japan. Like, um, I was definitely more careful with rules like that, Same. but over time I've realized like it's, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like if I'm going to a temple mm -hmm. or like a business meeting, I'm going right. to dress way more right. um, conservatively, but I mean, a body For a body, every day, like has a body going shopping, and, like yeah. in Harajuku or something, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I do feel slightly uncomfortable when I wear a tank top here because I know that not many people are and I'm kind of yeah. looking out there at the crowd like ooh I'm the only one like showing all of right. this all of this shoulder right but you kind of get yeah. away with it a little bit being a foreigner because you're a foreigner like they expect mm -hmm. you to be different they don't right. expect you to um, adhere to the same rules and I'm not right. saying that so you can be like I don't have to pay attention yeah, to anything in Japan definitely. I'm a foreigner. yeah 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 like I mean, definitely. <laughs> please do, don't do no. that. Try please, to follow. Please yeah. think of people. I mean, definitely think about the situation mm -hmm. in which you're gonna wear like lower cut shirts. But like, I'm just hanging out with friends today. Yeah, and I feel and... like it's not being offensive to people. Right. It's not really that you're offending somebody by showing your shoulder. It's just that it's not common here. So yeah. Um, people might look at you a little more than they normally would when you're showing right. like a little bit of skin here. Right. But I don't think you're hurting anybody. Um, no. If it's just in a, a casual so. situation like that, like shopping with your friends. So. Yeah. So those are some of the things that are a little bit more difficult for mm -hmm. us living here. It's not like any of it is like, like I have oh to walk God. today. It's oh, not like it's sucks. not that bad. <laughs> but it's just yeah, the but, more difficult things that you guys might not have taken into consideration. Right. So maybe we can kind of like help you prepare in case you are planning on moving here. Yeah, yeah. and um, let us know if you have any other things that come to mind for you down mm -hmm. in the comments. And um, thank you for watching. If you aren't subscribed to Sharla, please check out Sharla's channels. <laughs> she makes lots of thoughts. Lots of thoughts of videos. Lots of, lots of <laughs> if you aren't subscribed to Sharla, check out her channels too. Aww, she makes you. lots of videos about Japan and she has a lot of different perspectives on things that I don't talk about in yeah. our videos. Yeah. So um, check her out too. And thank you for watching. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye bye.